All right, hooray! We've just gotten under contract on your first home, and now what? Let's talk about it. Coming up. Hey, welcome back to the Greater Nixa Homes YouTube channel. I'm Jason with Greater Nixa Homes, and on this channel, we talk about all things real estate from Nixa down to Branson. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. All right, so the very first thing that you should probably think about doing when you get under contract is getting your earnest money to the title company. Here in Southwest Missouri, uh, we use title companies instead of attorneys like in many other places in the United States. But here in Missouri, we use title companies. So make sure that's very important. You have about 10 days to get your earnest money to the title company. If you don't know what earnest money is, I've got a little video that breaks down all the different things that you're gonna need to buy a house uh, right here. So go check it out. All right, so the second thing that you're probably gonna to wanna to do is get that home inspection scheduled as soon as possible. In a really busy market, sometimes inspectors can be a couple of weeks out. So you might call two or three, shop around, uh, figure out all the different inspections that you're gonna want done and get them done as soon as possible. Uh, for more in-depth guide on how home inspections work and especially for our local area here in Southwest Missouri, I've got another video for that right over there. So go check it out. All right, so kind of in tandem with uh, step two, this is your property data review period begins on your effective date, which is the day that you go under contract. And this is gonna be typically about five days. Uh, you just have to look at your contract and see what your property data review period is. The standard is five days though. This is your time to check out all the subdivision indentures, the covenants and restrictions of your neighborhood, uh, the tax, property taxes, the school district, uh, check to see if there's any sex offenders in the area. You know, you get on the uh, search websites to find out all the information you're gonna wanna know about the area. If there's something that is of a deal breaker for you, you have that property data review period to uh, give a notice, back out, get your earnest money back. All right, so the fourth step is shop your homeowner's insurance, right? So you're gonna need homeowner's insurance if you're getting a loan, they're gonna require that you have homeowner's insurance. You're gonna wanna have a declaration page to go along uh, with the closing. I've got a couple of people that I always recommend people contact, but you're more than welcome to use whoever you like. If you've already got auto and life and some other things wrapped up with a company that you're comfortable, give them a call, but it's always a good idea when you're buying a home to uh, shop around a little bit so that you can get the best rate. But you're gonna need to get that figured out, typically I'd say within the first 10 days as well. All right, so the last thing that I would definitely recommend that you do as soon as you get under contract is make sure you get that lender packet together and to stay in contact with your lender. They're gonna be asking you for everything under the sun, moon, and stars over the next 25 days to get you final loan approval. So it is very important that you make sure that you are, if they give you a list of documents that they're requiring, uh, if you don't have them in a PDF form, you can get them scanned in, use your realtor to be able to quickly be able to expedite these things, but I can't express this uh, enough. They need that very as quickly as you can. If you haven't already given them your basic tax returns, your bank statements, uh, your W-2s, all of that stuff uh, should be given to them prior to even you know, writing a contract on the house. But if they're still asking for some of these really important documents, um, you wanna be able to get those to them as quickly as you can and just communicate with your realtor about where you're at with that process so they can kind of manage your timelines accordingly. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. For a more in-depth guide on everything that we've talked about today, check out the link in my blog down below. I uh, will leave that down in the description for you. Be sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, just smash it as hard as you can. Check back here next Monday for more videos. I'm Jason with Greater Nixa Homes. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.